Welcome back, YouTubers. This is another episode of Tankers Fantasy Football. And today we are going to break down some week five waiver wire ads to help you get along and get over for this week and beyond this fantasy season. And we're going to lead it off with some running backs. But before we do all of that, you know, we just got to kick that intro. Back in that ass, getting the running backs going. I mean, we're going to lead off with some Ronald Jones. I know made his NFL debut against the Bears. Didn't really do much, but he did touch the ball more than Peyton Barber did. I know it was only 11 carries for 29 yards. Not really getting it sexy. I'm not saying to pick this guy up and start him, but I think he is definitely worth a stash in redraft leagues with how bad the running back position has been this year as far as injuries go. All right, we got Robert Turbin, another guy worth a speculation ad. Nobody in this off Colts offense is really taking the hand, taking control of like early down work. I know Hines, who is also on this list of ads, has been getting it sexy through the air, but I think Turbin has a role in this offense upon return. So I think, you know, don't start him. Another you know, guy kind of grab and stash kind of guy like the Ronald Jones. All right, Smallwood, Wendell Smallwood. Clements hurting now. He missed this last week. Sproles has missed the last two, three weeks. Ajayi has a small fracture in his back, so who knows how long he can stay on the field. So it might come down to Window Smallwood being the last man standing in this backfield. So I think he is definitely worth an ad. He has looked fairly decent in his work he has been given thus far. So I think all in, Window Smallwood, if he is still on your waiver wire, I think get him in there. Get him a stash, and you know, maybe this shapes out to Wendell Smallwood just becomes the RB1 in Philadelphia just by, uh, you know, health alone. All right, Nick Chubb, if you are the Hyde owner in redraft, and Nick Chubb is not rostered, I think it is time to get yourself that handcuff. I know he only had like three or four carries Sunday, but he looked pretty good. Found his ass in the end zone. I think Nick Chubb, even if you aren't a Hyde owner, I think Nick Chubb is another guy who is also wor worth a speculation grab, wait and see kind of guy. Rod Smith, this is kind of only if you're the Zeke owner. You know, Zeke's coming up with those knee, knee, like knee bursitis and uh, like a small ankle sprain going on. I don't think it's going to hold him out of action, but if it does, at least you would have Rod Smith on your bench ready and willing to go with, you know, solid flex play with Rod Smith if Zeke misses. I'm not saying Rod Smith's going to get up in there and be RB1, RB2 action. He's probably going to be just a flex play for you, but at least you got something going on. All right, getting to some waiver wire, waiver wire wide receivers. Start with D.D. Westbrook. I don't know the Jags wide receivers is just kind of like a bag of, you know, bag of cocks or whatever out there. You never know what the fuck you're going to get going on. You never know who's going to be the sexy boy on any given day. But D.D. came in, he had like 12 or 15 targets coming into this week for only 100, for like 164 yards, and he had 80 nine yards at halftime he is fast as hell we always known he's a quick guy i you know probably worth a flex play moving forward i think solid ad but it is the jaguars there is you know we never know who's gonna get it sexy moncrief keelan cole you got fucking dd westbrook out there who knows who's gonna continue to get it sexy but definitely worth an ad taiwan taylor I was, you know, high on this guy after the Richard Matthews decided to just walk out on his team. I was high on this guy. People were on Tajay Sharp. Tajay Sharp did get in the end zone, but I think moving forward, it is Taiwan Taylor as the second option in this offense. I know Corey Davis had his coming out party on Sunday. Got a huge, like, 30-plus point fantasy point day out of Corey Davis in PPR. But Taiwan Taylor, he saw his nine targets. Caught seven of them for 77 yards, so 14.7 PPR points in your flex. When a guy like Tywan Taylor, I started him in the league last year. Felt pretty you know, good about him getting week, 14 points. Year, but I'm going to leave know. him in that second flex in the league. I have him in. If 
feeling confident about it, you know, until further notice, I guess. Right out the Taiwan Taylor until further notice. Mariota it seems to be like he's getting getting his uh, hand feeling back. He hucked it, chucked it all over the field on Sunday. So I think Mariota moving forward on his offense before this had like a couple of games. They had under 120 yards passing. That's not getting it done. But moving forward, I think this offense can uh, uh, feed a couple mouths in Corey Davis and Taewon Taylor. So I think Taewon Taylor definitely worth a flex play moving forward. All right, we've got some Kike Kute out there. For the Texans out there and led the team in targets this last week. Will Fuller reactivated his hammy, so he might miss a week or two. So this guy could this guy could be wide receiver three flex play worthy moving forward until his Will Fuller situation shapes out. Even before Will Fuller went out in that game, he was heavily involved in this offense. I mean, this guy just looks the part. You know, Deshaun Watson definitely has faith in him. So I think moving forward, we're looking at uh, Kike Kute as a solid flex player. He should be available in most leagues out there. All right, Ryan Grant, the T.Y. Hilton injury. You know, he's a little banged up out there. Not really sure the, uh, the shakedown of that situation quite yet. But Ryan Grant, if he's not rostered, I think he's a guy who can support a very high middle range floor for you in that wide receiver three category at Ryan Grant, especially with T.Y. out. I think he can give you a very good floor. Tyrell Williams, Travis Benjamin is going to be out indefinitely with his injury. So Mike Williams is probably already rostered. Uh, rostered. He went out there and shit the bed. Mike Williams, like one catch, 15 yards. So if somebody does happen to drop him, he is worth a pickup too. So Mike Williams and Tyrell Williams, if they either of them are available in your league with Travis Benjamin out, Travis Benjamin was kind of splitting those deep ball looks with Tyrell Williams. So Tyrell Williams moving forward should get a majority of those deep balls from Uncle Phil, Philip Rivers, out there. Until I mean, Travis Benjamin kind of sucks anyway. But, you know, he's, he's stealing snaps. He's stealing looks. So he's not going to be doing those things anymore. All right. And we got some quarterbacks. And we got some tight ends that you guys can have. We got James Winston. I think he's got his job back. Dirk Cutter came out there, gave him his job halfway through that Bears game on Sunday. The Bears just fucking pushing their shit in. Kirk Cutter said he should even be fired after the Bears just fucking embarrassed him out there on the football field. Oh my goodness, Bears, how fucking sexy. And the other waiver wire ad is my boy Mitchell Trubisky, who had six touchdown passes on the day, and four of which he had with 10 minutes left in the second quarter. The Biscuit had four fucking touchdown passes with 10 minutes left in the second quarter. I'm not saying he's going to go out there and continue this Patrick Mahomes type production out of the Biscuit, but man, signs of life to quarterback league. He might be startable worthy in two quarterback leagues moving forward, which is something that I wouldn't have said about him a week or two ago. So all in, Anza Drabisky getting a huge boost in confidence going into the Bears bye week. And coming out in week six, feeling you know, two quarterback league, run him out there. I mean, I don't think he's I don't think it's ready for one quarterback leagues quite yet, but he's definitely worth being rostered in one quarterback leagues. We got some tight ends, we got some Tyler Croft and some Uzma, I think that's how you spell his name. The Bengals tight ends out there. Tyler Eifert just twisted his ankle. Kurt Angle got the, out there on the field and just gave him one of these and ripped his ankle to shreds. Oh, it was brutal. Red Zone just kept showing it a few times. I was just like, just fuck off with showing it. Red Zone, it was fucking gross. Uh, Tyler Croft, Chris Uzma moving forward. Tight end, thirsty teams need to give these guys a look. Also, Cameron Bray, we don't know the severity of the O.J. Howard injury quite yet, but Cameron Bray is definitely worth a look because Winston does kind of favor Bray in the red zone as seen these last couple of years. So Cameron Bray as, a, as an ad this week, all in on that. Another guy who's going to benefit from injury, injury, Lord Disley. Looks like he's out for the year. Will Disley out for the season. So Nick Bennett should start seeing a lot more snaps at the tight end position. For the Seattle Seahawks, so Nick Bennett should be out there on basically every league unless you're playing like 16 team dynasties or something. So Nick Bennett should be available if you are just thirsty for a tight end moving forward. I think this guy is definitely worth a look for you. All right, if you like the cut of our jib, give us a subscribe, give us a share, give us some comments below, ask any questions that your heart so desires below, and I will get back to you. 
give us a like the likes and the comments do help the videos out quite a bit it helps youtube decide the the you know the traffic of the videos it helps them push the videos more in the recommended rec recommended section of people's youtube accounts so if you would just do me a favor and hit that like button and hit me with some comments below it would be greatly appreciated and if you're feeling real froggy you want to be my best fucking friend you take this you copy and you uh, copy this uh link this url you copy it and you go to reddit r fantasy football and you drop that link over there and read it on reddit on our fantasy football for me baby and we can be the bestest of friends all right tankers fantasy football signing out see you guys tomorrow cheeseburger